represent the uh, Hi. caregivers at Walker Methodist Health Good. Center. And the boss is trying to take away all the rights that the workers have. Made. We currently represent the caregivers inside okay. of Walker. And, you know, this was a hard-fought battle just to organize this facility. Mm -hmm. It took uh, years where they had embargoed the ballots. And when we finally got a contract, um, the, work, the, the employer has been trying to renege on everything that protects the workers in their contract. They organized and won an election, and it took us six years to get this, uh, this anti-union employer to get a first contract. Now, okay, after a decade, no, that was a decade ago, and now a decade later, this this employer is still fighting the union. It still wants to break the union. They got money from the legislature to pay for workers' wages, and they're trying to put it in their own pockets. That's unacceptable. We've got people here, not only from AFSCME, but from the United Food and Commercial Workers, the Minnesota Nurse Association, the Service Employees. Employees, the uh, Teamsters, the United Food and Commercial Workers. We've got the leader of the New American Academy representing over 3,000 Somali uh, uh, brothers and sisters in, in Edina and Eden Prairie. Well, we don't know when the election is going to be yet uh, to try to decertify us. It's not the workers who want to leave the union. It's the employer who's filed a petition under the Nation National Labor Relations Act. It's an employer-sponsored decertification of the union. In fact, in fact, the employees gave management a petition with an overwhelming majority of the workers said, stop this decertification, and the employer refused to do it. How long have you been working here? 20 years. 20 years, yes. I started at a smaller walker and ended here in 2007. Yes. Okay. And what's the issue that's uh, you're here The issue about is today? a living wage. We haven't had a wage increase since uh, 2013, and that was given from the state. What we see is um, there's a wage disparity all across the board here at Walker. Um, no one is really getting paid for their work here. Next negotiations is 12-2. We've been to the negotiating table at least six times now, And we've never gotten to the economic package. But it's more than an economic package also. We have a lot of other issues. What's your name? Michael. And what are you doing today? He understands that a lot of what you're saying is legit, but he just wants to. Where did you hear that? Where did you learn that? When is the when is the <laughs> and your mommy? Oh, yeah. We just want respect, livable wages, and we want our employer to treat us right. I have been here, for, I have been working for Waka more than 20 years. Woo! And then I've seen a lot of changes over the years. It used to be nice, it used to be a good place to work, but not anymore. Yeah. I have been working with the worker for the rest of 14 years, going to 15. Thank it you. used to be a good place to work. Yes. And then changes start coming. Changes start coming. I remember when we first started this union, we walk in the street until we want, we get what we want. Then we have been going, going, and worker have been getting wars and wars and wars. He can't be here, but he asked me to read a letter on his behalf. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Dear Walker Methodist workers, I'm sorry I can't join you in person today. Thank you for the work you do every day. Each day for the next 18 years, 18,000 more Americans will turn 65. Yeah. 12 million elderly or disabled Americans rely on long-term care. Your work providing care is meaningful to the individuals you serve and to the entire community, and we thank you for it. What do we want? Justice! Justice. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Who does the work? We do! support the workers of Walker Methodist who have one of the worst anti-union employers yeah. in the whole state of Minnesota. Ooh. It took us six years to organize and get a first contract here. And you listen up, Walker Management. You are not going to break this union. I am the assistant director of okay. Council 5 in charge of field services. I am involved with the New American Academy, a community-based organization that works with the immigrants and low-income communities to support jobs and economic development. 
here today to support uh, the union, ASME union, and uh, to make sure that uh, this nursing home should give a contract with the, with the uh, union.